Hello, this is David Hilser. I'm a critical thinker, dissident scientist, and if you are not science woke, then this is the place for you. There are literally thousands and thousands of scientists from around the world who have been working for decades outside the mainstream, who have found problems, fixed those problems, and who are proposing new theories and models. You're not going to find anything like this on YouTube, so you want to make sure you go down below, click on the subscribe button, the little bell next to it, and you'll be alerted to when our next video drops. Guess what? We are in unicorn hunting season. Did you know that? I bet you didn't know that. Well, first of all, you know that unicorns don't exist. But don't tell the people in particle physics that in their bubble, they search for unicorns. They find unicorns. They talk about the breeding habits, their digestive systems, their, their how they work in groups, uh, the color of them, the spin of them. They've got strangeness, up, down. This is the particle physics world. And of course, according to this book, which is you have to read on the dissident science science woke reading list this is a must read the higgs fake read it read it read it anything by alexander unstricker is worth a read and he talks about this he talks about this exact thing we're going to go to it go through it today and that cycle is a very interesting cycle and we'll see this in this article how exactly what Alexander Unsucker predicted comes true. Well, this is the discovery of a mystery particle at CERN could fundamental, fundamentally change science. There was a huge amount of excitement when the Higgs boson was first spotted back in 2012, a discovery that bagged the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2013. See, they say bag. That's the, you know, they bagged it. This is from hunting. This is a hunting metaphor. They're hunting. Yeah, the unicorn. Uh, no, they're hunting uh, Nobel Prizes. Yeah, that's the truth. They're not hunting a new particle. They're hunting f for fame. They're hunting for that Nobel Prize so they can go around and talk, uh, talk about unicorns in their bubble about the unicorn world and tell everybody you guys just aren't in the unicorn world. So you're small. Your brains are small. You can't understand this. Guess what? We can because it's all a farce. Throw out particle physics starting all the way back to 1930. Uh, the, par the, particle, uh, the particle completed the so-called standard model as the, uh, our, our current best theory uh, un of understanding nature at the level of particles. The standard model. <clears throat> uh, now scientists at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN think they have seen another particle detected as a peak at a certain energy in the data. Although f the finding is yet to be confirmed, Although the findings had to be confirmed. Again, there's a lot of excitement amongst particle physicists, but this time it is, mixed, it is with a mixed sense of anxiety. Unlike the Higgs particle, which confirmed our understanding of physical reality. Ah! <laughs> oh, it did. <clears throat> and sort of given that the entire standard model of our, from particles that are uh, never seen only sort of uh, indirect evidence for them. It's about uh, the standard Mars model is about as physical as unicorn. The unicorn world is, uh, and which confirmed our understanding of physical reality. Okay, it confirmed it. Of course, nothing confirms anything in in, in any experiment. We can only support our ideas. Nothing is ever proven, but the confirmed, proven, same thing. This is this new particle seems to threaten it. The standard model. Oh my gosh! And of course, this is great because. Why? Alexander Unsker says mm -hmm. that, in fact, and we're going to take a look at this, what are they doing? Well, the new result consisting, consisting of a mysterious bump in the data at 28 gigavolts. Remember what Alexander Unsker says that happens in particle physics. Well, basically, you found the uh, Higgs boson. What happens? Then you take your computers and you get rid of everything. You throw out everything that we already know. And that makes sense. Okay, we've already know that. So we know all those things. So we filter out the Higgs boson, and all the other, th all the other things that we know about. And then we look for another anomaly, something we haven't seen before. And it's going to be super rare because we would have seen it. It would have been easy to find. It would have easily happened. So Alexander Unsucker is, is right. So they are now in unicorn hunting season. And that's what I'm talking about today. Why? It's because they are now filtering out everything else and looking for that new signal. And of course, if you read the Higgs fakes, you're going to find out that their method for looking at, at new signals is, how would you say, wrought with an immense amount of problems. If you look at it as a system, if you look at it as an engineering process, or if you even look at, at, at in the science, in science itself, the process is 
absolutely unbelievable, to put it uh, lightly. But of course, um, they're going to say, "Well, we are. We found this signal." And here's another thing they say: um, uh, the 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 collaborators have very tight internal review procedures, internal of you guys who are into politics and know, like right next to us in Broward County, they count the votes and they're supposed to have people from all the parties there watching them. And guess what happens? Well, we just saw a video today that came out in Broward County, one county away from me here in Florida, showing people pushing things in front of them while they're pulling stuff out of the machines. To a person who has the right to be there, they're blocking what they're seeing. Why? Well, because when you're doing shenanigans, you have internal review procedures with internal people. You don't make it public because if you make it public, people can tear it apart. See, that's why I'm your science therapist. I can see those, read between the lines. Don't let this slip by. I'm trying to get you guys to be science woke. And they say it's a standard deviation. That means um, that the chances of this not being a real signal is 0. 0.0013 or that's tiny, 13 in a million. So what they're saying is, uh, according to our analysis, internal, which you can't see, it's just can't be just random nothing. So it seems like it must be a real event rather than random noise. But somebody's opening, not opening up the champagne yet because they have to, you know, this is, you know, they're shooting for unicorns and they saw, they're in the woods and they saw a new one. They don't exist, right? You understand that? Many uh, uh, experiments smash beams of protons together, blah, 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 finding evidence for in a buildup. Blah, blah, blah. The, be, that's because heavy and invisible particles, such as the Higgs, are often unstable and tend to fall apart and lighter to, uh, into lighter particles, which are easily detected. In other words, the Higgs particle is invisible. And its life, its lifetime is so ridiculously short the only way we, we say we find it is that we can find the easier particles that, uh, that we detect. That are, so you, they don't detect the Higgs particle, the Higgs boson. Sorry. I mean, they're, you know, the Higgs, Higgs unicorn. I get a cheat. Got a patent that one. Higgs unicorn. All right. Anyways, that's, uh, the, the LHC has found many new particles by such techniques, uh, and they have all fit in, into the standard model. So they're, what they're saying is they're finding this, um, uh, you know, Higgs particle. Remember, folks, uh, it's... They're invisible, and, uh, and uh, I mean, they're, they're they're shooting themselves in the foot with this this language. The new findings come. The new finding comes from an experiment involving CMS detector, which recorded a number of pairs of muons, well known and in easily identified particles that are similar to electrons but heavier. It, it, it analyzed energies and directions and asked if this pair came from a single decay or parent particle. That would mean that. Uh, what would the mass of that particle be? So the unicorn they're saying, uh, it usually come in pairs, you know, because, yeah, you know, to make a unicorn, you gotta have a pair of unicorns, right? Female, male, whatever. Uh, so they're talking about, well, what we see must be coming from a single parent, and that single parent is 28 gigavolts. But in this case, it certainly likes theirs. There is a peak, perhaps, you see. Perhaps there is. Calculate the mass. Don't worry about this. It's all unicorns anyways. But that's what they're saying. It's coming from one, it's 28 gigavolts. So they found their signal. This is what uh, Dr. Alexander Unsker says. We're filtering it out. We found a signal in a place where we're not normally finding it. Woohoo! Someone's gonna win a Nobel Prize. Oh, wait a minute, no, no. So we're gonna find the fundamental way, the, you know, another part of the way the universe works and we will uh, enhance our knowledge or we'll win the Nobel Prize and, and earn money and earn fame and go around into our little bubble world speaking about these things and Alexander Unsker will come and then interview me and start to ask real questions about the even the way it's being done and all the paradoxes that all the, the standard model has and I will uh, uh, 15 minutes, 18 minutes later, go, oh, take a look at that. I did a video on that right there, here at nine minutes. There you go. Uh, if it is real, that means a few uh, a few of these muon pairs did indeed come from a large parent particle that decayed by emitting muons, and no such 28 gigav gigav uh, mm. gigavolt particle has ever been seen before. 
You know, so they're talking about gigavolts, but that's energy, right? Mm -hmm. Well, mass is energy, I guess. That's what they always say, but you know, what can you say? So uh, it is all looking rather intriguing, but history has taught us to be cautious because, you know, that one anomaly, the, uh, the uh, digamma anomaly, uh, recent, you know, it's a false alarm. Spurious discoveries due to experimental glitches over enthusiastic analysis or just bad luck. I don't know that last part. Well, there's a lot of a lot of those problems, of course. Um, I, I did get an article that is the mainstream right there. Two uh, 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 Danish uh, scientists say, hey, uh, the detection for the gravity waves really didn't happen, and here's why. Well, because of experimental glitches and enthusiasm. And that. Yeah. What do they call it? The uh, when, when you are looking, you find what you're looking for. Um, experimental biased, sort of. Anyways, this theory is even more, is even more incongruous. Uh, in, uh, just in, uh, as an experiment in particle physics, spend their time looking for new particles. Theorists spend their time thinking about thinking of new particles that could make sense to look for. <laughs> that is, while we are out hunting unicorns, they are looking at their unicorn charts and periodical uni, u, periodic unicorn charts and saying where what unicorns must be missing because you know. This one's here, and it's this unicorn has isospin, and this unicorn has a half a spin. This well, this one has upness, and this one has downness, and uh, we must be okay. Anyways, amazing. They would fill in pieces of the standard model or explain dark matter. Okay, dark matter. Take a look at there. Doesn't exist, folks. So all this matters. Like, let's find something. We're in unicorn season. Unicorn season, it's open season. We gotta find a new particle. It's been, my gosh, 2013. What's really great now is the, they, they, they've uh, expedited the process. Find a particle next year, you get a Nobel Prize. Yay! They, you know, somebody, some CEO from some uh, company probably did that to make that process go faster. Uh, but no one suggested anything like this, meaning that, you know, they've really found something. Anyways, for example, theorists suggest that we find a lighter version of his Higgs particle. They're supposed to say Higgs boson. Don't you know that? We're correcting people all the time. And in the Higgs particles, Higgs boson. It doesn't matter. They're all unicorns. It doesn't matter what you call a unicorn. You can call them Fred. They don't exist. But anything of that ilk would not decay into muons. <laughs> because if we can't decay. We can't see the, any of this stuff. Neutrinos, all this stuff. We can't see them. We can only see what is the result of them they all decay in the stuff we can easily detect and we pretend to know what really happened and we make all kinds of rules for that put them in our computers no one ah read higgs fake okay that means we should have probably discovered them already as electrons are easy to detect potential new uh the potential new particle does not match the prophecy i mean those propose this isn't our unicorn look for a unicorn chart we were trying to hunt new unicorns because the idea is because i want to find because i want my nobel prize because then i'm really important and people think I have a super brain. Uh, if the particle exists, then it was just that it's not just outside the uh, standard model, but outside in a way that nobody anticipated. Just as Newtonian gravity gave way to general relativity. Uh, general relativity is wrong. Um, I don't know how many cards I can have, but maybe I can have one more here. Uh, go look at that. General relativity. Sorry. Uh, and the standard model will be superseded. Um, how about the standard model is a unicorn, it's me thrown out. How about uh, general relativity, uh, according to the NASA scientists in our group, says, hey, it does, the starlight doesn't bend where it's supposed to bend according to general relativity. Eh, fails that test. So, uh, But the replacement will, be, uh, will not be any of these favored candidates that have been proposed. Oh, they're not going to get those guys aren't going to get Nobel prizes. You got to wait till the next unicorn hunting se uh, season. It's, uh, be proposed, including supersymmetry. Up, oh, throw that out. Extra dimensions. Yay! Oh, please. And the grand unification theories. Yeah, and none of those models like our models, which actually give physicality to the universe. There are uh, these all prop propose new particles, but none of these properties. Uh, yeah, this isn't close to this. If, if I would have just wrote my unicorn paper and pretended and said stuff. Ah, maybe we should do that. Let's let's set up for next unicorn system, the uh, uh, next unicorn season. Uh, it have to be something so weird that nobody has suggested it. Okay. Oh well. Well, anyways, concluding this article says, luckily, uh, the other big large hadron collider experiment, Atlas, has similar data from other experiments, from their experiments. Uh, the team is still analyzing it and will report in due course. Cynical experimenter experience says that they will 
or report a null signal and that the result will join the gallery statistical fluctuations but maybe just maybe they will see something and the life for experimental theorists and suddenly you get very busy very interesting and very interested in getting nobel prizes why don't we just say it? uh only change that and then the life for experimentalists and th experimentalists and theorists will suddenly get very excited about winning their nobel prize for unicorns and of course as we say as as alexander unsker says this is just is this the way the process works we're an open season for unicorns they think they've found one running in the woods that they're going to shoot down but this one doesn't fit into their storybook of in their storybook of unicorns and oh my gosh is this real or not and that's what they're doing the higgs boson is now filtered out and they, they are looking for their next particle but that's not what they're looking for they're looking for fame and fortune like i said on my list read the higgs fake because uh as i always say stay critical stay thinking read for yourself i'm dave de hilser i am your science therapist trying to get you to the promised land of becoming science woke i hope this makes you each time you read these articles more aware and more science woke ciao for now